Hello, this is Johan Vermeulen with MobilityMinder.com and today we're going to take a look at a brand new Twitter app called MoTweets. MoTweets for Windows Phone 7. Of course MoTweets was in existence already for uh, the Windows Mobile 6.5 platform, but right now from scratch they started with a brand new app. This app will be available for 99 cents or for free, but then you will have some ads supporting in this app will be available in the marketplace uh, hopefully this week so it's not out yet but it's definitely a must to have as you can see I have four accounts set up in my lifestyle with the live accounts or the live tiles right here in each of my avatars for those Twitter accounts I will have a small number in there that shows me either direct messages or at replies so let's open this up there we go as you can see a nice startup screen there we go. The great thing about this app is that it actually uses quite a very large screen estate. So the Metro on the top kept very small. As you can see, I have my timeline, my mentions, the inbox and more mentions. So it could, you can set that up for each of the accounts and you say what you really want to. So if I don't want the timeline for certain accounts, but I want my mentions and my inbox, you can really set that up. So you can slide on the top let's go back here or you just slide in the middle right there so let's go back there's another way to quickly switch between all your different ones so here I have my timelines my mentions inbox and other mentions inbox other mentions I want to have you can add RSS feeds if you want to so you really quickly can switch between those as well using the little button on the bottom which says menu right there so another thing quick search quick view search manage your accounts and options clicking on the options real quick we'll give you the auto refresh the maximum tweets you want to download which kind of picture service you want to use and which url service you want to use for shrinking your urls and if you want your live tiles on or not any more apps from panoramic software let's go back now, other icons we have on the bottom is to create a new tweet right here on the bottom. Then we have the refresh button and here we have more of the streams that we have. Now, all these streams are the same as in the menu that you can see right here. And those are corresponding with the timeline you had on the top, the metro, so you can slide over. Now, for example, I want my mentions to be higher. I highlight it and I move it up or move it down. So I have back my timeline, mentions, inbox. If I want to move this one up, there we go. And once you hit the back button, the arrangement that you have created right here will be arranged on the top as well. So very great features. Okay, let's let's create a new tweet and let's see how this works. As you can see, I have my four accounts on the top. Now tap to tweet. I can say Test tweet for video as you can see and has the automatic words as well in there there you go you can see it um, tapping outside of the box I can say include location there you go now no none of the accounts are selected yet so I can select this account and mobility minor account so I'm gonna check those two accounts so this tweet will go out for two accounts let's click back on here and I can actually add people. However, these people from my contacts, right, are actually the people that are mostly used in your line. So not all, all of them are here, I believe. Uh, so let's take a look. If I try to see, there we go. A panoramic def, that's the, let's see, there we go. Just tweet for video at panoramic def. So most common people are in there. Let's try this again. So your most common people are right located right here. Test tweet for video upon rank def at mobility minor. So not all of your followers, follow people you follow are in there. Hopefully that's coming out in the next version with an option to use a search box. Very easy to add a picture, take a picture or add a picture. You don't want that. Then there's another link I can add right there 
and let's actually add a link here. Now let's just add mobility. Of course, it's a little hard typing underneath the camera. So I'll select that. It's communicating and it puts the tweet right in there. So very easy. You hit send and the tweet is gone. There you go. Hit refresh and it probably will show up in my timeline. Actually, uh, another thing that I want to show you is each time you have a new tweet, they should, oh, there's the inbox, of course. So I have to go back to my timeline, hit refresh. You can set a refresh for one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes. As you can see, all the new tweets have a small little green dot underneath. So the moment I don't have those green dots anymore, I know that's where I left off the last time. Another great feature is tapping on the tweet. You get the de uh, on the actually on an icon you get the details of uh, that Twitter account, including the background that they use in their Twitter page as well. You can of course go to their timeline, mentions, inbox, uh, responding to a tweet. Tap and hold a tweet. Will bring up the menu. Reply, retweet, quote a tweet, favorite, email tweet, and SMS, with of course all the functions that normally you will see there and there. You can also tap on a tweet itself, where you get the tweet just in a bigger screen with all the linkings to all the different accounts. Uh, plus, if you are not following those people yet, then you can actually, or you actually can add these as favorites through these. Right now. On the bottom you have again options to either retreat, reply, map it out, or the same functions you saw before by tap and holding it. So different ways of using the tweets, replying to people. It's it's, it's very great. I, I, I really think they hit the mark with this Twitter app. Everything is possible. I can tweet from multiple accounts. I can communicate with the most common users so I can find those users very easy when creating something big screen estate awesome menu structure very fast mo tweets is def i mean for 99 cents how can you go wrong uh, you can go free if you want to um, the only thing that they don't have yet the live tiles is on they only work if your twitter app is not running also not running in the background so if it's completely closed down how i'm not sure how to close it down yet I think the only way to do it is really using the back button constantly so that you are not having there we go so let's uh, review this mo tweets live tiles every hour updated you have your accounts up to six accounts that you can set up so let's go to manage accounts right here as you can see, I can set up the live tile mentions, live tile direct messages, or both. Those are going to be very small numbers in the icon on your live tile for that one particular account. You can add an easy account here. And let's go, let's go back to options. Here you can say the auto refresh, maximum tweets, picture service, and URL service or in live tiles. This was Johan Vermilo with Mobility Minded with a review of MoTweets, the new Twitter app for Windows Phone 7, a must have.